I'd like to say thank you for tuning in to this video. So I want to make a short one today. And uh, this is another video about encouragement and encouraging people. And uh, that's what I want to do with this channel is I want to try to encourage people, to try to help people, to try to help you, you know, see people, see that there is hope and maybe be a channel where people can tune into and and uh, get some good advice and um you know, and so that's what I want to try to do here. And and I think a lot of times, and that one thing I wanted to mention just for a few minutes today, is uh, a lot of times we don't really see what's going on in a person's mind. And that's one thing that a lot of times we don't really um, we don't really understand because what they're going through because we just see one part. The old saying is, you can't judge a book by its cover, and uh, that really does apply. And I wanted to use a one of the people in the Word of God or in the Bible as a illustration, and that is a person that, even if you're not a Christian, you know who this person is, and that is Judas. Um, and I want to use him as an example to try to get this point across. When you look at Judas, um, you know, most people know who Judas is based on what he did. But if you think about it, um, Judas was a person that, when people looked at his lifestyle, you would never have known right up until that day. Judas was one of the original 12 disciples who was called uh, by Jesus Christ. And um, the Bible said when the Lord called his disciples, he gave them power to heal the sick and to you know cast out devils and so on. So Judas was given that same power and that same authority, and he began to walk with the Lord. And then um, when you had the, of course, he said at the Last Supper, Judas did, and um, you can read that in the book of Matthew, and, and I'm not going to take time to read them, but I'll put the description or the verses in the description box below, but when you read about Judas, he was there at the Last Supper, and when the Lord said that one of you will betray me, all of the people sitting with him, or all the other eleven, uh, chimed in and said, is it I? Is it I? Well, what that tells me is they could not tell by Judas's life that he had been having trouble or that he was going through something, but because he wasn't the whole time. Sometimes people will say, well, so-and-so, Judas was just a bad person. No, Judas wasn't a bad person. The Lord called him to be a disciple, and he started out following the Lord. And apparently, as I said, he didn't have any signs that he was having problems because the disciples, uh, they they didn't say as soon as Jesus said that. They didn't say, well, it's Judas. Judas will just, Judas will be the one to betray him. They didn't do that. What they did was they began to question, is it I? Is it I? So what I'm trying to say is you can tell Judas was fighting this battle within, within his mind, within his body, and the people on the outside couldn't tell. And so you can sort of relate that now and see by his example that if if someone that is following Christ can have that battle and be fighting a battle inside. Who's to say someone isn't that you come in contact with every day? So that's why we need to encourage people, because we don't know what they're fighting inside. We don't know what battle is going on inside. And, you know, they might put up a good front. Uh, they might smile. But as I said, you'd never known Judas was the one. The disciples didn't know that Judas was the one that was fighting this battle within that he had eventually gave into. And we know betrayed the Lord. So, you know, let's just try to encourage people. Let's try to lift people up and let's try to uh, help people because somewhere somebody might be counting on you. I thank you for tuning in. I hope to help you. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel. I'd like to make a little bit longer video on my next one. And uh, I hope to... Uh, say something that will encourage you and and i love to see likes and i love to see views because it makes me feel like i'm helping somebody thank you again and we'll catch you on the next video